<clears throat> okay, welcome to my period nine again. I say hello to everybody. Carly Ann's here. Jackie, it's her last period nine before our spring break. Rebecca's here. Okay, excellent. Marley's here. Excellent. Okay, I like that. Tom is here. Josh is here, but doesn't need to be. <coughs> Patrice is here. Patrice's sister is here. What's your first name? Alexis. Alexis? Alexa or Alexis? Alexis. Alexis. Okay, very nice. Excellent. All right, now. <coughs> oh, oh, forgot. You never said Leith. Uh-oh. I mean, he's short, but you just didn't really see him. Leith is here, and the, the great Colombian from Medellin is here. Excellent. God bless all Colombians. Yay. Excellent. Now, what I want to do, talk about just briefly, and I'm not going to do a lot of temperature conversion problems because it's a single one or two or three problems where you convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius or from Celsius. We have a visitor, and they're like, looking at me like they're saying they need a visitor. Gabe's here, okay, very shy, okay. Wasn't shy. sure if he could come in. No. Yes, Gabe is very shy. Okay. okay, so, you know, you convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius, Celsius to Fahrenheit, Celsius to Kelvin, Kelvin to Celsius. It's not a big deal, would you agree? It's easy. So I'm gonna do one problem, and I'm gonna take this opportunity to not only do, do a problem, but first I want to derive the equation for converting from Celsius to Fahrenheit, okay? I want to do, I want to derive the equation. Now, in order for you to derive an equation of any sort, you need to graph, make a graph, make a plot on a graph. And this graph has two axes, x and y, all right? Yes? Yeah. Yes? Okay. y is going to be degrees Fahrenheit. This is very important, so make sure you copy this down. This is the x-axis degree Celsius, correct? Mm -hmm. Celsius is going to be the input. We're going to plug in a Celsius. We'll grind it around, and out will pop a <laughs> degrees Fahrenheit. This is actually, because it, it's no secret. You know, I'm not, I'm not making this stuff up. This isn't like Darcy's law. This is a very standard equation, which you may have used in chemistry, mm -hmm. but not really maybe not have derived it. So that's the equation. The, the Fahrenheit temperature equals the 9 fifths times the Celsius temperature plus 32. Okay? Plus 32. Now, so how do you derive that using, using graphing techniques? Well, in order to graph a line, remember, this is linear, correct? It's linear. Yes? How do I know it's linear? Because it's direct. It's proportional, it's direct. In other words, how many spaces are there for, for Celsius between 0 and 100? How many spaces? 100. 100. How many spaces between freezing and boiling for Fahrenheit? 112. 180. 32 to 212. Long story, and maybe I'll tell it some other time <laughs> as to why, but there's 180 spaces between freezing and boiling point, right? So if I take 100 degrees and I add to it 100 degrees, how many additional Fahrenheit degrees would I add? 2 times 100 is 200. 2 times 180 is 360. 360. So they're linear. It's a linear, direct relationship between Fahrenheit and Celsius. That's important to know because you have to know what line to draw on your graph. And it's a line. Therefore, it's going to be y equals mx plus b. I have that here. y equals mx plus b because it's a line. Okay? Slope, this is going to be Fahrenheit. Slope, this is going to be, x is degrees Celsius. 
and B is going to be the intercept. In order to draw a straight line, how many points do you need? Two. Two. Each point is going to be made of an X and a Y. X is Celsius, Y is Fahrenheit. So what would be two convenient points that you know right off the bat, especially from being from North America or from the United States? I think we're one of the few countries that uses Fahrenheit. There are there others? Do you use, in Colombia, you yeah. use Celsius, right? Celsius. Yeah. In Haiti? Celsius. Anybody else from other places? So it's to you, like, first nature, Celsius? Not yeah. really. Yeah, she, yeah cause she's I've lived here for a long been. time, yeah. Oh. Yeah. But anyway, so what, what would be two points? In other words, what temperature in Celsius do you know right off the bat the same temperature in Fahrenheit? Freezing, right? Mm -hmm. Freezing is zero... Zero, comma, 32, right? Yep. X and Y. X, Y, Celsius, Fahrenheit, 32. Sorry, this is, that's drawn incorrectly. Would be zero, 32, right? All right, zero, 32. All right, this will be 100, 212. Okay? Yes? All right, now. Right. So, so 0, 32, and 100, and 212. Freezing, boiling. Correct? Does that make sense? Okay. Y equals MX plus B. The first thing is easy. You put in degrees Fahrenheit for Y, and you put in degrees Celsius for X. Is that easy? Almost too easy, right? Yeah. Easy? Okay. So that's, that's, so that's what we got so far, right? What are you going to put in for B? What are you going to put in for B? What's the Y-intercept? 32. 32. So you're going to put 32 in for B, right? But what is the slope? The slope is going to be the change in y, which goes from 32 to 212, which is 180. Isn't that the change? Mm -hmm. The change in x is going to be 0 to 100. So one, 180 divided by 100 is 1.8 or 9 fifths. Same thing? Clear? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Okay. You all right with that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so up 9 over 5, okay? Yeah. Yes, easy. Up 180 over 100, <laughs> same thing. Clear? Yeah. So the equation is going to be degrees Fahrenheit equals 9 fifths degrees Celsius plus 32. The, the problem set 11 says this. Instead of saying degrees Fahrenheit, they say temperature sub F Fahrenheit equals 9 fifths the temperature in Celsius plus 32. Same thing. So the book says, this is, excuse me, this is problem number, what? 500. Which one is this? I don't even know what number we're doing. Anyway, the point is this. It says exercise one? On the board. Oh. I put these notes on the board about an hour and a half ago. I forgot they were even there. So exercise one. Okay. It says convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. Easy? Okay. Plug in. Plug in? Okay. I'm going to erase this. This was for this. Okay. 0, 32, 100, 212, right? Okay. A and B, A and B, correct? A, B, correct? Easy? Mm -hmm. 0, 32, 100, 212. Okay. All right, so it's going to be, it's going to be what? It's going to be TF, TF equals 9 fifths times 500 plus 32. Do that. Do that out. How do you do that anyway? Is that easy? 9 
times 500 divided by 5 is what? 9 times 500 is 4,500, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Divided by 5 is what? 900, 900 plus 32. 912. What is it? 932. Nine, wait, what? 932. Uh, you know what? Yeah. All right, 932. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Now. All right. Now, just to make this. So TF equals, what is it? 932. 932. Correct? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Now, I read the problem wrong. I didn't, I must not have used my glasses. Okay? No. But that's right. No, excuse me. This is right. Change 500 to Fahrenheit. It's 932, absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. Yes? Yes? But it's not 500. It's 50. I was going to say that. It's 50. Makes more sense anyway. I mean, 50 is a little bit more reasonable anyway, right? So it's 50. So it's going to be 50. So TF would be 9 times 50 is what? 450 yes. divided by 5? 90. 90 plus 32? 122. So if somebody says that it's 122 degrees outside, or it's 50 degrees Celsius outside, don't go out. Yeah. Evidently, where I'm going next year in Abu Dhabi, it gets, I'm not quite sure it gets that hot, but it gets pretty hot. You don't even like the hot. I don't. That's, that's, that's why I like air conditioning. It says, this is the, this is the question.